So in my three years at the school, the, uh, what we're trying to do is get some insight for the guys to be able to lead them to be able to play um, in some development programs. So the, the 13s, the 14s, the 15s and the 16 carnivals. And then from there, if they get the opportunity, they're lucky enough to be invited down to a waffle club. And then from there, they can obviously try and get into the, the big time AFL. Yeah, cut it down. Yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, so I'm really lucky to, to have this job. I, um, I get a lot of pleasure out of um, taking the footy team and working with the Indigenous boys. Um, you can really see them develop as um, young men and proud people, you know. Um, and uh, that's something that I really um, don't take for granted and I really enjoy it. So hopefully the program can develop some uh, players from the school to be able to go to the next level, you know, Liam Ryan, Adam Cocky, Dylan Nelson, Buddy Pickett, these types of players. As a group on the trot, let's go. Take the balls with you. Uh, okay, so Neil Arnold, I am the teacher in charge of um, health and phys ed here at Belga Senior High School. Uh, been involved with this program, well basically since we started when I was working at Subi in 2012, uh, all the way through. Now, being a full-time employee here at the school, I'm not, um, not at Subi any longer. Some of the successes of the program have been, yeah, we've had some really good successes. Uh, not just uh, as athletes, you know, the kids have also, or the young men have, have really developed uh, along the way, you know, uh, we also see a lot of positives through attendance, engagement with schools. Um, but you know, along the way, we've had heavy involvement of the boys here at the program at the school through the Subi Talent programs. You know, for example, this year we've got Tyrese Binder, who's uh, involved in the boomerangs and goes overseas in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Ivan Cocky, I'm the Community Engagement Coordinator for Subiaco Football Club. Uh, I've been in the role for two years now. Uh, first year I was under the big Neil himself, uh, now I've taken over. So the aim of this program is to keep young Indigenous students engaged with their schooling. So main point is their education. So. We like to do programs to keep them educated, so we do you know, programs of leadership, goal settings, but also day-to-day -day life. So back in my day, we didn't have programs like this, so I think it's very important to have these programs in place, uh, especially with the day-to-day -day life with the Indigenous people now, um, trying to help them as much as we can, especially with the education side. So. You know, with these programs, we hopefully we can lead them in the right direction so they can have a better future. Mm -hmm.